All right, I'm going to do a new little training. Uh, I'm going to try to do two. I'm going to try to go fast. So if you don't catch this, just ask me. But uh, I'm going to show you how to search with the map on Navica. So you'll hit property search. Uh, most times you're going to use residential, so I'm going to do a residential one. And for an example, I'm going to say, here's a person looking for a home in the bluffs. So we're going to click search by map. Your map's going to pop up. The screen stays kind of small, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. You drag this map, just left click and drag it. Drag it. And then you can zoom in, and then drag it to where you want to go. So I'm going to shoot in towards the bluffs. So there's the bluffs. And say these people, they want a house, they've got to be in the upper bluffs. So I'm going to choose active, and I'm going to do a box search. So I'm going to take my little cursor and drag and I'm going to kind of cut out the lower bluffs because they want something in the upper. Let go and it shows you there's all the properties for sale in the upper bluffs. <clears throat> you can hover over them and it'll tell you the quick information. So you can do this in front of a client and say, well there's one, there's one. You can always just click on the details and it'll open a new window with that property's info. Or you can go to proceed to search screen and it'll take the search that you just did off that map and add it in here somehow. I don't know how, but you just start search and it's going to bring up those 20 properties we had in the upper bluffs. So then you can kind of choose from your list. Hey Ryan. Yeah. Do you have any luck getting in touch with your seller on Labaca? No. No. Okay. My dad has before, but I'll try in a second. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I got a call. So there's all the properties in the bluffs that we just brought up. As you can see, in the content right here, I've got the list price, the street number, street name, bedrooms, beds and baths, year built, square footage, days on market, price per square foot. Those are the categories that I like to have if I wanted to print this list and take it with me. In this little box right here, content, it says Ryan. Everyone has access to this box. You can see there's a bunch of them in here. You probably, on your Navica, have like residential chosen. So I'll show you what residential looks like. It's a little different because it's got the price, the address, bedrooms, baths, but it's got the realtor's names. I don't really need to, that just takes up room. So that's why I've chosen Ryan just because I like the way it looks. Another one I made that's kind of cool if you're going to show people is this one called Vacant. Choose on that and it's going to bring up those same properties. It's going to have where they're at, the bedrooms, baths, the square footage, but it's going to say whether they're occupied or vacant. So you can then click on occupancy and sort these by whether they're vacant or not. So there's three of them up there at vacant. So we could do those right now and then make appointments for the other ones. Uh, so that's why I created that vacant one. Another one I've created is uh, one called CMA. And this is what I use for sold properties. We're looking at active ones here, so it's not going to look as good. But if you're looking at sold, you choose CMA because it's going to give the list price, then the sold price, the addresses and all the square footages. And then it's going to use the closing date too. So you can sort by closing date. Uh, I use this one when I'm going to do a listing to kind of give them a quick breakdown of the properties I'm going to print out and show them. So try to learn how to use these contents uh, just because it'll really help with making with printing out lists. So whatever one you use last, it's going to save it the next time you search. So the slimline, you might have seen that, but most people are probably on the traditional with the pictures. That just makes the page too long for me, so I keep it on slimline. So I go real fast. I usually print out a list if I'm doing an open house in Southland. I'll print out a list of all the homes for sale in Southland and take it with me and give it to everyone that comes by because no one else does that. No, I don't know how well it works, but I like giving it to them. Plus, I'll look over it while I'm at the open house and know what's for sale around me. 
So that's a couple of cool little tricks in Navica with the map and making sure you have the right content to maximize what you get on the page. So if you have any questions on those, let me know.